got another weekend tip for you. Uh, or I guess a video article, whatever you want to call it. I want to show you uh, a pump bushing here. This is the old one that came out of this pump. This is out of a just a 4L60E, but most other automatics are the same. They have they have a front pump bushing, and this one is very critical because this is the one that the torque converter snout rides on. So, just to put that kind of in another perspective for you, uh, assuming you go out and start your car and walk off, and it's in park. This bushing has load on it because that converter is spinning even though the car is in park or neutral or whatever it happens to be in. If the, if, even if no other parts in the transmission are spinning but the engine is running, that thing has wear on it. So, a lot of people don't even replace them. I do, especially if there's, there's noticeable wear on them. Um, yes, I have left them in before. If they uh, if they look ex look exceptional, um, this one obviously definitely did not. It's awful looking. As a matter of fact, I don't know if the light's picking it up, but all that pitting. Um, so you know that that's a very critical bushing there, um, along with uh, your rear bushing that supports your output shaft, of course. But other than that, you know, there's a couple. You know, a bushing kit comes with six or seven other bushings uh, for inside the transmission and you know don't get me wrong they're they're definitely uh, needed uh, but they typically don't wear out nearly as fast as as your pump bushing and maybe your rear bushing the other thing is uh, the seals this is this is a kicker because a lot of people don't even bother to change the front pump seal and I don't know why when it you know maybe a rear seal you know that's one thing because you can actually get to that without pulling the transmission out from the car down the road of course uh, but the front pump seal man you gotta pull the transmission plus it comes in the rebuild kit 